John Soberg's here today to talk some Emory golf. Uh, coach, guys are back in action uh, this Saturday and Sunday with the uh, when you host your spring invitational. Yeah, coming off a, uh, a well-deserved couple weekends off. Uh, tough to get this time of year, but the guys should be refreshed and recharged and ready to go this weekend. You know, obviously, uh, it's back at Smoke Rise again this year. The very course that you uh, you and your team is very familiar with, but. Uh, why don't you just give kind of a preview of the course for those who may not know that much about it? Yeah, it's it's come along nicely this spring. Really greened up the last couple of weeks, really the last uh, eight or nine days uh, with the heat here in in Atlanta, which is great to see. Uh, it's tight. You got to drive it well. Uh, greens are pretty small, um, but if you control your golf ball, you can definitely shoot some low scores as as we've seen in the past few years uh, hosting out there at Smoke Rise. Uh, you guys enter this year's competition as defending champ. You were six shots ahead of Huntington last year, and obviously you guys are, are eager to uh, defend that title. Yeah, definitely ready to go. It'll be good this year with the change to 54 holes. Mm -hmm. uh, Going to play 36 on Saturday and then 18 on Sunday, which I think is, is a great test uh, for the field and for us. And I, I, Yeah, I think we're ready to go and, and eager to defend uh, a tournament. Just talk about the change of 54 holes. What, what, what was kind of the uh, impetus behind that? Yeah, we just don't do it in the spring. We did it a couple times this fall, and, and it was great. And, you know, the more golf you play, the, the better teams uh, typically rise to the top. And we don't have any 36-hole days in the spring, so it felt like the right time to do it. And we've got a little more daylight now this time of year, so we can, we can comfortably get it done. And uh, the weather looks good for Saturday and Sunday, so hopefully it will work smoothly. Obviously, this will be your last uh, regular season tournament uh, before uh, na Nationals. Uh, kind of a long break between uh, this tournament and Nationals. How important is it for you guys to have, kind of end the regular season on a strong note and in heading into uh, Nationals? Yeah, I think that would be, that'll be great for us to get, get a nice, uh, nice tournament in here, get into finals, uh, feeling good about ourselves. Uh, and then the nice part with the break is we get in and out of finals and, and don't really have to worry about anything once we get to the NCAA tournament. So uh, would would like the break to be a little shorter between our last event and the NCAA tournament, but do appreciate that the guys are done with done with all their testing uh, before we get to go to Lexington. So a little give and take, but uh, we're looking forward to a good good week this weekend. Talk about uh, some of the teams in this year's field. Obviously, Huntington always uh, sent you guys and Huntington have been kind of jockeying all, all year. And yeah, up, talk about some of the other squads. They've been great this spring, really, really good this spring. Uh, Guilford coming down again, uh, and then the local schools, LaGrange, Oglethorpe, Greensboro coming down. Uh, so I think we've got four or five teams in the top 20, which is which is a nice field. And then a couple of out-of-towners, St. John's, Minnesota coming down in the top 20, uh, Wisconsin Eau Claire in the top 30 coming down, uh, and then Ohio Wesleyan uh, return trip from last year and Skidmore out of New York. So uh, a good national field, and uh, obviously uh, the teams in the South are always competitive, so it'll be, it'll be a nice field for us. All right, Coach, thanks very much for your time. I'll let you get back to work. Uh, good luck this weekend, and we'll see you uh, down the road. Appreciate it. Thanks, John.